How are you doing, little buddy? How are you doing? Shadow and I have come to the San Rafael Swell, the most unusual geologic formation. What was once an ancient seabed with alternating layers of sandstone, shale, limestone, was thrust up thousands of feet And then, being here in the desert, the infrequent but fierce torrential floods, you know, rainstorms, when they, it does rain, it floods, washes and carves out from the sedimentary rock, canyons and valleys and gorges and leaves mesas and all kinds of just beautiful formations. Now we're here to rock hound and this area has unbelievable agates, jaspers, fossilized dinosaur bones. We may find some. You're not allowed to take those. So if you do come here, uh, that's illegal. Don't take uh, dinosaur bones and or uh, ancient American artifacts. They're, those are in abundance as well. We could also find what are called um, gastrolites round stones that were in the gizzards of dinosaurs. They're here. So we're here with some friends. We're parked right there. We camped here overnight, just down a ways. And we've driven here and I'll introduce you to my friends who are introducing me to this location. Super excited about this. We did a little rock counting last night. And I already see, I already got to see what, what we have ahead of us today. It's spectacular. So let's get rocking. Hey guys. Hello. These are my friends, Bert and Belinda. I won't say their last names to respect them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and <We're infamous. laughs> yeah, uh, they're from around here. And Belinda is the director of the museum. I'm a curator. The curator. The well, curator is that's kind of like the best job, isn't it? It is. It is the best job. It's so fun. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. And so, what are you finding? Well, when you find a pile of gastroliths like this, the gizzard stones. Those are gizzard stones. Yeah, they're all polished from being inside the stomach or the gizzard of a dinosaur. Then you start finding chips of bone like this. This one is actually a good gem bone. These are pretty weathered. But those are dinosaur, are fossilized dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur bones. bones. What happened is, I'm sure there's a dinosaur, the rest of them is in that side and this side. And this Whoa. stream has just washed out through here and it's brought it to the surface in little chunks. There's some big chunks right there, but they're really, really weathered and hard to tell that they're bone. But this right here, you can see the cell structure in them. Wow. This one is has agate replacing it. A lot of them have iron or barite has replaced the bone when it's petrified. Within it, you'll get this green jasper and lots of agate. Yeah, lick it. Nope. <laughs> wow. So now we're not allowed, obviously, no, to take. No, the dinosaur. government would rather have it lay out here and crumble away to nothing than have people make something out of it. Okay. Or, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll respect that. I will. Yeah. And here's some more of those gizzard stones. Here, let me pick one of those up and show that to the camera. So these also look like agates. Yeah, they are. And this is rock, but you can see the texture. Yeah. Because that was that was against the bone. Okay. That, all right. So that took on the formation of yes. the the bone because it yep, was against. Okay. Cap rock that was covering the bone. So underneath this most likely is a dinosaur or two. Uh, 100% guaranteed. Wow. Is this not crazy? These were in the gizzard of a dinosaur. Are we allowed to take the yes. gastrolytes? Yeah, those are fine. Okay. Just no vertebrae. Well, we'll take a couple of gizzard gastrolytes. We're finding a lot of hematite jasper. And Belinda here tells me there's a lot of hematite here, and you can definitely see the jasper in there. It's got some weight to it. I would call that a hematite jasper, would you? Yeah, I would. 
It's beautiful. I'm going to throw it in the tumbler. So we have hematite jasper not far from where I live, but it's different. It takes a super metallic shine. So I wonder if it'll take the same kind of metallic shine that it does down where the hematite jasper, down around gun, the gunlock area. But that is beautiful stuff. It yeah, it does shine without it even. Boy, that sun is bright out here. Beautiful. I can't wait to tumble this. The whole area is just crazy incredible. And if you think it looks a lot like Mars, you're not the only one. There's a, a Mars Research Center on the swell as well, where they try out things to see how they might work uh, for possible future Mars, uh, you know, exploration and maybe even colonization. So yes, if it looks like Mars to you, well, it looks like Mars to NASA as well. What do you find in there, little buddy? He's onto something. I have learned always check the tailings of Shadow's digs. <laughs> I have found some pretty cool stuff. Wow. <laughs> found Cooper found the seam where the agate's coming out, right through here. Yeah, right here. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Cooper, Cooper, ah. Cooper, you sure did. Ah. Beautiful piece right here. Look at that. Ah! Cooper! Ah! Stop that. Do you need the collar on? Or let's go. Shadow helped me find a big bunch of beautiful agate and jasper mixed together. Look at that. This whole spot kind of runs down through. There's some of that really pretty red. Oh, that is beautiful. That's yours if you want it. Thank you. That is beautiful. And there's more. You know, I hope the camera picks this up because when it's really bright under the sun and then you have this super whitish clay silt, um, it can wash out footage. So I'm hoping that this shows, look at that agate in there. Look at that one right up there. All of this All of this, it's all agate. We'll take a few of these smaller pieces to throw in the tumbler. Really windy up on this hill. gather up a few of these pieces shadow you are standing on what I want to pick up okay move over here oh you really want to hog the camera well, you just need a little love he's feeling what I'm not giving you enough love no. this is some beautiful stuff right here That would be a nice piece to display just like that. Clean that up. <laughs> I 
it almost looks like a crystal. It's, it's not, it's micro crystalline. But that, that is really cool. Yeah, we have found a dinosaur bone. We think. It's weathered really bad. Very heavily agatized. Well, we have to leave it if it is, and we think it is. So I met Bert and Belinda from the YouTube, my YouTube channel. They reached out and ask if I'd like to go rock hounding with them here on the San Rafael. They live not far away. They know the area really well. And you know, I've met some really great people uh, from the YouTube channel. You've probably seen Raul and Lisa that I've rock hounded with, Dr. Stan, uh, most recently um, Brad, who didn't want to be in the video, but that was my last video, the Moapa Valley in Nevada. Uh, then other YouTubers, like uh, Julie and Brian from AZ Rock Counting Expeditions, and also, look at this, this is so cool, of course Jared and Sarah from Currently Rock Counting, and Dave from Endgame Campers. I've done camping and rock counting expeditions, adventures with all these guys. I'm sure I'm missing a few and I'm sorry, uh, but I just wanted to kind of just mention that you know, my little YouTube channel, it's a labor of love. I don't do it for any other reason. It's a labor of love. But I met some fantastic people through it. And friendships that, you know, will last a lifetime. And I just really appreciate people that, you know, reach out. Um, you know, I still work a full-time job. I don't rock hound every day. But I do like to rock hound with you, so... If there's an opportunity and our schedules align, I'd love to go rock hunting with you. It's always fun to meet new people. And I learn a lot from others, believe me. Oh. Shadow and I are trying to figure out how to get back down. We're separated from Bert and Belinda. I could backtrack. I know generally where they are. But I was hoping to find a way. Uh, it's not this way. No, but that is a beautiful view. So unusual. So barren, yet the stark barrenness has its own beauty. I mean, there's just so much I have to be picky again. Look at that big chunk. That is really cool. I don't have to drop it on shadow. It's heavy. I'm going to take that big chunk. Okay. Look at that. It's got every color under the sun in there. I mean, I wish I could just take the whole thing, but my bucket's too heavy. But I'll take that little chunk of it. Throw it in the tumbler. This is really, really amazing. I mean, it's like nowhere else I've ever rock counted before. So there were some big dinosaurs out here. That is a gastrolite right there. That was in a dinosaur. That was a big dinosaur. And this here is a, what they call a cast, that was formed right up against a dinosaur bone. So that's the cast of a part of a dinosaur bone. And there's dinosaur gastrolites all around here. There's one, I mean, they're everywhere. There's a broken one right there. So. There's, for sure, dinosaur bones under here. Crazy. Take a look at this green jasper. Spectacular. Beautiful green jasper. 
And here's another that I would call an agate because it looks translucent to me. Well, we made it back to the vehicles and my bucket is so heavy. <laughs> I told myself, stop, stop picking stuff up. And I kept picking stuff up just a little further.